Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video, which is going to be testing out some new beauty launches and my first impressions. I normally would film this as a sit down video, but I thought today I would film it more in a vlog format. I think I can just talk about the products a lot more naturally um, and apply them with you. I have already put a few of the new products on my face and I did film it, but then when I looked back at the footage, it just wasn't very nice. So when I'm explaining them, I will insert a few clips, but I didn't want that to be like the style of the video. So today, as you can just tell, I just got out the shower and decided to pop a load of new things on my face. I'll briefly go through what I have on so far and what I think of them. So first of all, I wanted to try the new Yves Lom Radiance face oil. So Evlom is a brand that generally with their products I just love the consistency of them. I find them really light, really my just my skin really really likes them. My skin doesn't love anything too heavy. Even at this time of year when I really want radiance and I really want hydration, I still don't want anything too heavy. So this is perfect. Their radiance face oil is a really lightweight oil, so if you don't love oils, then don't worry, this one is absolutely fine. Even before makeup application, I mixed it in with my Liz Earl Skin Repair Moisturizer for normal combination skin. That's a moisturizer that I have been using pretty much every day for the past month or so. What I tend to do, especially if I've got a slightly more luxurious base, let's say, or a slightly thicker moisturizer on, I'll tend to leave it for about, well, as long as possible, really. Today I left it about 10 minutes. Some days I will go and blow dry my hair, um, which is about half an hour. Some days I'll go and make the coffee or whatever but today I left my base 10 minutes for my skin to just absorb all those ingredients and then I used a primer. Clarins have released a whole range of primers. There is one for pretty much every skin need. The one that I used um, is from the SOS primer range. The one I used today was their one that blurs imperfections. Let me show you the rest of the products in the range as well. So this is like my little box of products that I have been applying so far. This is the one that I just applied blurring imperfections. We've also got this one here which visibly minimizes dark spots so you can really just choose whichever skin concern you want to target. This one visibly brightens sallow skin and then we've got one here for boosting radiance. This is a great one for this time of year and this one diminishes redness. You could even just choose which area of the face you want to apply them so you could put this one on the cheeks, put this one on the forehead and any other areas. So a really lovely new selection of primers from Clarins. This is the next thing that I applied. As you can see, it's personalized, which I absolutely love. It's got a really long name. It's called the My Armani To Go Essence In Foundation Cushion SPF 23. It did take a little bit of building, but the coverage is really buildable. They describe it as a soft matte finish, which I would agree with, maybe, Maybe not 100% matte, it's got a little bit of glow to it, but yeah, I applied maybe a couple of layers. I kept going back over my cheeks to build up on the coverage. It's got glycerin and hyaluronic acid in there, so it's really good for just keeping the skin radiant and glowy and very comfortable for this time of year, which is very, very important. And then this little cushion, I really like the shape of it because it's almost like, it's not completely round, it's almost teardrop shaped, if you can see that. So it's very good for getting into those areas like around the nose, under the eyes. I just found it very, very practical. So big fan of this so far. I did want to add a little bit more warmth to the complexion. So I've used the Souffle de Clat, I think that's the correct name. Um, yeah, Souffle de Clat Loose Powder from YSL. I'm not too familiar with a whole load of YSL products, I've not tried that many, but this one promises to give you a glowing, radiant complexion all day long, despite the fact that it's a powder, which is very intriguing to me. It's got a little powder puff um, application, so you just kind of tip it upside down and then press it onto the face, and I actually think my skin is looking fairly glowy, considering I've got powder all over it, so very impressed with this so far. The next thing that I applied was a lip glow from the Dior Addict range. They have introduced some new shades in matte and holographic finishes, which is really intriguing. This one is my favourite, the one that I applied today, and it is the shade Coral. They're basically lip balms with a beautiful bit of tint in them, so great if you want to add a little bit of colour without compromising on just a nice balmy nourishing finish. Here are some of the other shades that I've got. You've got matte raspberry, a matte pink, and an ultra pink. There should also be a holographic pink, which is a little bit more similar in consistency to the coral one, but can I find it anywhere? No, it is absolutely vanished, so hopefully that will turn up in the not-too-distant future. But I absolutely love the packaging of these, really like the bullet, really like the fact that it comes in this pink um, packaging. I just think it's beautiful and I really love pulling these out of my handbag, which is a simple pleasure. 
After the Dior lip balm, I just put on some of my usual bronzer. I didn't have a new bronzer to try out, so I've just popped on some of my Bare Minerals. This, I think, is quite a light bronze shade, so I use this one all over my face. It's not particularly good for contouring or anything like that, but if you just want to add warmth to the complexion, then that's a really, really lovely one. I do also have from La Mer, very reflective. This is the bronzing powder, and this one is a little bit darker. This one does have some darker shades in there. Obviously, as you can see, you can really pick and mix. You can use your brush at the bottom for a lighter shade or really bring it up to the top levels for a darker shade. And I like to just sweep it across the top and then that'll give me a little bit more of a deep colour for any face shaping and any contouring as well. So that's everything that I'd applied before starting this video and now I'm going to apply a few more new launches. This actually I'm not again sure if it's new but it's new to me. It's the By Terry Game Lighter Palette and I have Pixie Nude as my shade range which sounds absolutely perfect. It's an absolutely beautiful palette as well so I'm trying to get into it to show you what it looks like. Inside you've got pinky shades, you've got lots of browns, some metallic browns, some matte browns, basically every shade that I absolutely adore and wear on an almost daily basis. Here's a closer look, you can see it also comes with a brush inside as well. To be honest this looks like a pretty good one, I normally don't use the brushes that come with palettes, I normally use my own but I'm going to give this one a try. It's got a nice shaped end and then more of a blending end as well. I would say that these outer shades on the last three here are the type of shades that I wear on a daily basis and then if I want to jazz it up a little bit in the evenings that middle colour is absolutely stunning but I'm going to start by applying this one I think all over and then maybe building up around the crease with this slightly darker brown shade. Okay, I don't actually feel like this brush is doing these eyeshadows any favours. It's making it look quite patchy on my eyelid and taking a really long time to get that wash of colour. So I'm going to go and get one of my usual brushes to give this another go. Trying again with my Zoeva brushes. These are what I use on a daily basis. This one is the Soft Crease. I'm going to try the eyeshadow with this one. Okay, so I've applied the eyeshadow. The shades are just very, very wearable, not groundbreaking shades, but you know what? I think secretly 99% of the population don't want groundbreaking shades. We just want colours that are really wearable for every day. That's definitely what I look for in an eyeshadow palette. So by Terry have absolutely ticked that box with this palette. I used a mixture of the three that I showed you a second ago. If the brush even slightly touches that middle shimmer, you really do get a lovely shimmering pop of colour over the top, which is really, really nice. You might want to use a slightly smaller brush if you don't want any shimmer for maybe a day look. Next, I'm going to apply some mascara. I don't have a new one to try out, so I'm just going to go with the old faithful Benefit Roller Lash. This is what I use. The brown one is what I use on a daily basis. Okay, mascara is done. I'm now going to take this opportunity, now that I'm looking a little bit more human, to tell you about today's giveaway. So I think that when I do these videos, and I'm going to try to do this kind of testing new makeup video, hopefully once a month, to really keep on top of all the new launches, um, maybe every two or three weeks, maybe every two months, depends on how many new products I have to try out. But I want to also incorporate giveaways in these videos each month and just give away a selection of products which I have tried out in the video, any products that I think that you guys will love and certainly products that I have got the whole range of. Often PRs, they are very, very generous and they'll send the full range of things many of which are not suitable for my particular skin type, like I don't really have, for example, any redness, so the primer that deals with redness is not one for me, so I want to give you guys the opportunity to try them out as well and just say thank you really for watching and engaging. So what I'm going to do is leave the information about the giveaway down below, but generally I'm going to hopefully try to give it to my most active subscribers and active followers. So if you're liking a lot of my Instagram photos, if you're leaving lovely comments, if you're commenting on my videos, giving them a thumbs up, things like that, obviously you need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and following me on Instagram. Even reading my blog posts and commenting on blog posts, that kind of thing, that kind of thing is definitely going to help you out when it comes to the giveaways. And there is going to be a hashtag, hashtag Fashion Mumbler Beauty Giveaway, and it's someone that's going to be using that hashtag that will 
will win so that is how you can enter my giveaways each month so yeah that is what's going to be happening each month in these videos so these are the goodies that i'm going to be giving away for this month's fashion mumbler beauty giveaway i've got one of the dior addict lip glow lip balms a clarins limited edition mother's day hand and nail cream in jasmine this is the Clarins SOS Primer, which blurs imperfections. The new Clinique Fit Moisturiser, mattifying um, for post-workout. I've also popped in one of my favourite necklaces from Accessorize, made with Swarovski Crystal. This is one of the Hourglass Highlight Sticks, in this gorgeous creamy rose gold shade. Then you've got a Dermalogica Barrier Defence Booster, amazing at this time of year for keeping the skin happy. I've popped in one of the new Lip Envies from Estee Lauder. And two colours, if you are a red lover or a pinky nude colour, there is one for you. These are the new matte um, lip products from Laura Mercier. So next I'm going to move on to lips and there are so many amazing lip products that I want to try out this month. I've already showed you the Dior lip balm, I've just kind of blotted it a little bit so that I can move on to the next product. Something I'm really excited to try and I think you guys will be really interested in is the Fenty Beauty Lip Launch. I think these are called the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick, that's what it says underneath and I have gone for the shade Single. I do have a couple more shades, one of which will be in the giveaway selection, so stay tuned. This one I would say is the most wearable, it's like a brownie pink which is very much my colour. I think I might line the lips first, so I'm going to go and grab a lip liner before I apply this. I'm just using the Elizabeth Arden Plump Up Lip Liner. This is one of my favourites when I'm not too sure what the lipstick colour is going to be. It's very much kind of my lips but better and it's really, really soft. So I love the consistency of this one. You can just see how easily that goes on. And then the Fenty Beauty, the packaging on this is this silver bullet you can see and then on the top of the lipstick it's got FB emblazoned on there, not going to last very long but let's see how this looks, this is the shade Single. I have to say I was not expecting that to be as pigmented as it is, it's a really beautiful almost corally pink, it's like a cross between almost like a terracotta and a coral and a brown, it's just the most unusual shade, definitely unlike anything I've got in my collection, which is great, really nice, actually this will be a really nice autumn lipstick, but you know what, I'm going to wear it throughout the summer and spring anyway. Even though it's got a matte finish, it is very comfortable, it doesn't feel drying, it doesn't feel like the kind of consistency that's going to be long lasting on my lips, but it does promise that in the press release, so we will see, I'll keep you updated. I'm going to be filming clips for this vlog throughout the day as I try out new beauty products, so we'll see how long this lasts. Before we move away from lips, I want to show you some more new launches. This one is from Estee Lauder. This case you can actually get if you buy six or more of the lip products from Selfridges. It's a limited edition case um, and it's just absolutely stunning. These are the new Pure Colour Envy Paint on Liquid Lip Colour. They have got three different finishes. You've got a matte finish like this one, which is my favourite. This is the shade Espresso. No, it's not. It's actually called Bronze Leaf, but I wore this one out for dinner last night and I absolutely loved it. It was a little bit dry on the lips but not uncomfortably so and just gave such an amazing intense colour. Absolutely loved that. Also within the matte finishes we have this one which is Lava Flow. I feel like a beautiful matte red lipstick is such an iconic thing to have in your collection and this to me is just a perfect perfect red shade so huge huge fan of that one. As these are PR samples, some of them don't have the correct names on them, so this one I just have a code, which is AB6. Don't know if that'll help you in the shop. This is one of their metallic finishes, so the second of the three finishes. And as you can see, hopefully my camera will focus, it's just got beautiful, almost gold, pearlescent pigments in there, which are just the most heavenly and wearable metallic shade. This next one for me is called A56, but it's slightly more of a fuchsia pink, again with those metallic pigments in there. Then we move down to these two. We've got kind of like an oxblood red colour and a beautiful pink, almost like a Barbie pink, and these are the vinyl finishes. So these ones are a wet look, really impactful, very highly pigmented finish. So depending on your preference of finished, I am still a matte lover, but determined to push a boat out a little bit then these are just absolutely stunning. There's going to be 18 different shades in total and I think they're out now in Selfridges. And then one final lip launch, this one is from Laura Mercier. Look 
at this incredible selection. I think there are 24 new shades. They are matte in consistency. These kind of pinky brown ones naturally are my favourites. This one here is called Vibe and I actually wore this one for their launch dinner which was a couple of evenings ago. Suki Waterhouse is the face of this collection and she was at the dinner so it's really lovely to hear, hear her makeup tips and all about her um, job getting into the modelling industry along with her makeup artist Katie who is also really really lovely. But yeah I wore this one throughout the dinner beautiful shade really long lasting really pigmented um, but also very very comfortable considering it's matte not drying at all and as you can see there are just so many different shades to choose from whether you like the bright fuchsias if you're more of a corally lover and then we've got some slightly more browny shades this one is almost like a coffee color and then we've even got some purples, some really vivid purples. And then this is almost like a tomato red. So again, a really, really wearable red color. Because of the shape of this applicator, I just find it so easy to pop on the lips. Don't even need a mirror. And they're obviously super slim, just like the lip caviars that we all know and love from Laura Mercier. So great for popping in the handbag if you just want to have a little bit of color on the lips on the go. Then these are really lovely. Obviously, no human in the world can get through so many lipsticks. So one of these or a couple of these will also be in my giveaway selection. So as I mentioned earlier, oil is just really important at this time of year for helping the skin looking lovely and glowing. This is a new launch from Darfan, and to me Darfan are just the queens of oil. This is their new Stress Relief Detox Oil Mask, which... Oh my goodness, looks absolutely heavenly. The main ingredient in this is vetiver, which has lovely skin renewing properties. So great if you need to just help the skin to calm down if there's any irritation going on and also just giving the skin beautiful radiance. I would probably apply this before bed, leave it on the skin for maybe 10, 15 minutes, just let my skin absorb all the goodness. And then they've also got the vetiver aromatic care from their face oils. These I've been using for, I don't know, like 18 months, nearly two years now in the evenings. It's just part of my evening routine if I want to relax, rewind, just let my skin enjoy the goodness from the oils and inhale the amazing aromas. You guys have heard me talking about these many, many times before. So really excited for this new innovation from Darfan. Then we have two new launches from Sanctuary Spa. These are foaming um, shower gels and I absolutely love foaming shower gels. This time of year, particularly good if you're coming in from the cold into central heating and your skin's a bit stressed. This one in particular, I really like. It's got almond oil and I think sunflower oil potentially in there, but it promises three day long lasting moisture, which is great for this time of year. These are seven pounds, which I think is fairly pricey considering it's not like a designer brand, but you know what? You only need a tiny bit of foam and it lasts a long time. Great for shaving and just generally a really lovely product to use in the shower. And these are available, I believe from Boots. So before we move on to skincare, I just have, I think, one more beauty launch to show you. And these came in an amazing set. They are the Hourglass Vanish Flash Highlighting Sticks. The packaging of these is, to be honest, a little OTT. It's absolutely ginormous. Not one for space-saving makeup drawers, but amazing nonetheless. They come in these almost kind of pyramid silver containers with Hourglass written on the side. And then the actual highlight itself is inside in a triangular shape, which you roll to bring up. I'm going to give this a try. I think you apply this directly onto the skin. I have got the shade bronze flash here. I would automatically presume that these are for highlighting, but you can also use them on the lips, on the eyelids. They've got some really beautiful pearlescent pinky shades, some more creamy shades. So very, very versatile, which is what you want when you are paying the luxury price tag of Hourglass products. Very, very smooth consistency. So let's apply that straight on to my cheekbone, and then I'm just going to blend that out with my fingers. This is actually given quite a lot of colour, so if you want to use this almost as a bronzer, maybe it's a little bit too dark for a highlight. I'm going to look a little bit odd applying a different one on different cheeks, but this one is Rose Gold Flash. It looks almost lilac-y in the um, bullet, but let's see how this looks. I'm really basic when it comes to highlight, not particularly skilled in that area, but just using my fingers to blend this in seems to be a very easy way to do it, and actually that highlight is 
beautiful. That has just given a really, really lovely, you can see it's slightly warmer on this side and slightly cooler on this side. Just given a really lovely natural glow to my complexion. So I'm gonna finish by whizzing through some new skincare launches. One that I'm probably the most excited about is this one from Liz Earl. It's their cleanse and polish in a new fragrance or flavor. This is the Lavender and Vetiver, exclusive, exclusive to John Lewis. The fragrance of this one is it's obviously still got that cleanse and polish scent to it, but it's a little bit more calming because the lavender, it's got that kind of woody scent to it as well. Personally, I'm really loving using this for my evening cleanse. I just find it very, very soothing. And then obviously cleanse and polish, I absolutely love. It's a lovely rich cream that gets rid of any grime on the complexion, any makeup, leaves you with really lovely smooth, balanced skin. And then in the pot, you also get the cleansing cloth, or actually two cleansing cloths. Obviously you just use these with warm water to gently buff the product off the skin, and that just very gently exfoliates any dead skin cells off, leaving you with a lovely radiant complexion. We have two new sheet masks out on the market from Kiehl's and Elizabeth Arden. Both of these masks are made from a biocellulose material, so it's kind of, I think this one is made from uh, coconut water that's been fermented, so it's like, feels almost like a second skin on your face, and both of them are two-part masks, so they don't fall off, they fit the skin really, really closely. The Kiehl's one is their Instant Renewal Concentrate Mask. It's a blend of three different oils from the Amazonian Brazilian rainforest, and it's also got omega-6 fatty acid in there, which helps to replenish the skin, and also also helps to build up the skin's protective layer so again fantastic at this time of year these are available in Harrods and I think they're 44 pounds for a box of four of those the Elizabeth Arden ones are a new addition to the superstar collection which I'm a huge fan of these are the probiotic boost skin renewal biocellulose masks because of the probiotics as you can imagine it's all about just helping to build up the skin's resilience resilience against pollution against any irritation hyaluronic acid in there renew the skin helps it stay lovely and smooth and radiant and once again the mask itself you get four in here and I think it's 40 pound for four the Clinique fit launch has been a really exciting launch this month I have tried their facial mist so far it's in my gym bag and really really like it great for just refreshing the skin after a workout this is their shine in the game and not your t-zone post workout mattifying moisturizer they all come in this really cool packaging very bright very memorable and then this is fabulous for just getting rid of any glow that you may have after a workout but still a really lovely skin loving moisturizer and last but not least Clarins have some beautiful launches for Mother's Day these are just my favorites this is first of all just the packaging is so stunning it's got this lovely almost like hand-drawn floral design this is their magnolia hand and nail treatment cream and then I've also picked out their natural lip perfector this is the instant light natural lip perfector in this beautiful pink shade and this collection has been specifically created for mother's day so if like me your mama absolutely loves clarins then these are just some really lovely limited editions to treat her to so those are some of my favorite new launches that have come out over the past couple of months or are coming out in the not too distant future i hope you enjoyed this kind of vlog style of getting ready with me and trying everything out real first impressions so let me know if you like this format or if you'd like me to do a different format next month I am now going to get ready to film another video so I need to blow dry my hair and actually one final launch because I'm trying out a new hair dryer this one is from T3 it's their featherweight compact I think it's called like a tourmaline soft air hair dryer basically it's really lightweight it collapses down it's got two different wattage settings so really good for traveling and it's got three heat settings two style settings basically all the snazziness of a normal hair dryer but super lightweight and compact so i'm going to give this a go get my hair ready and dry ready to start filming but i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye